Islam on. And I pray that all is well in your world. Um, I'm going to spend a few minutes uh, to try to explain to you all again um, why you are not Democrat, what Democrat actually means, which means the things they've never told you about being one. Um, I understand that a lot of you hate the incumbent for rumors, innuendo, and just outright lies that you have heard. Well, I've been polling around here in Chicago, and the one thing that I learned about the people in this town, and I mean the so-called black people. Uh, what I learned is, again, they, like a lot of the Moors, and I mean proclaim Moors in this town, they detest knowledge. Now, I'm going to uh, say again to you, you need to learn to love instead of hate. And what this is coming to is, for you black Democrats, especially here in Chicago, Kamala Harris ain't your sister. I'll tell you again, she's Indian. And she'll tell you, she's an Indian. She ain't black. And for those of you who are trying to curry her favor, suck up to her, or even ride her coattails, or stand side by side with her, what you need to understand is she does not give a damn about you, and she does not mind using the word nigger. Not nigger. But yeah, she'll call you a nigger because she's Indian, but you hate Trump so much that you would put an aged, demented Alzheimer's patient in the White House, along with a thought and a home wrecker. You hate Trump that bad that you don't give a damn which way this, this land goes at all. You just hate Trump that much. You'll put a thought and a daughter and old fool with dementia in the White House. Does that make any sense to you? But so long as it's not Trump, right? Do a write-in. Write in your neighbor's name. Write in your neighbor's name. You don't like who you got on the ballot? Write it in. That is still a part of the voting process a write-in vote. Write your neighbor's name down. But you, you would rather put a thought a, and a home wrecker in the White House with a bigoted old doddering Alzheimer's patient who was a demented fool. Here, for all of you black, all of you black voters, especially you, well, they, they call you seniors. Y'all were just big kids when I was coming up. When your parents voted Democrat, had you doing it, you didn't even know why. But you'll put a whore in the White House along with a daughter and old man because you hate Trump that much. Write your neighbor name in. Write your neighbor's name in. Kamala Harris is not black. She is Indian, and she will tell you she's Indian. Where were you all when she was asked what she's going to do for black people? Did you hear her answer? Her answer is no. Her answer was no. I'm not going to do anything just for black people because she's Indian. And you all, 
they have sold her to you as a black woman. And she's not. Because she went to a historically black college. And all of them are nothing but leeches. And as you can see by looking at Kamala Harris and a few others, you see what they turn out. Yes, she does represent Howard University. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you. You see, the Democrats are never going to give you anything that you can see, feel, smell, hear, or uh, uh, check that, see or taste. But let me tell you what Kamala, what Kamala Harris has done already. She's already got stuff on paper that's going to give Indians a shorter time to get a green card. You know who her assistant is? An Indian girl, not a sister. And she's uh, an AKA. Stevie, how come she didn't get one of her sisters to be one of her assistants? She's not black. She is not black. And you Negroes had better do better than this. And I told you before, just because they're wearing the same color skin does not make them your kin. Kamala Harris is not your sister. Ask her. Ask her. She is not your sister. And you all had better get to that real quick. She despises you. Have none of you ever seen her in, in her photograph? Sitting with her mother and her family, wrapped in her sari, with her red dot in the middle of her head? Does that say African-American to you?